The Knights of the Shin Actual Play Podcast presents Zwayhan, Feast of Goblins. Welcome back to the shed. It is dark outside and dreary, though there is a full moon and it is raining. It's Paul here. Welcome back to Zweihander. I'll be the game master for this evening. Hello, it's Hayden. How are you going? You can't answer that because you're just listening to me. I think we're going uh, Wittishins tonight. Wittishins, Wittishins. Um, yeah, I will be playing Helmut Siegler, the 13-year-old animal trainer. Animal trainer come beast slayer. I think. Slayer, yes, just slayer. Hi, it's Ma- Toby playing Marsha, <laughs> <laughs> the cloistered nun now battle maiden, aged battle maiden. It's Dave. I'm playing Rafe Reimer, the smuggler turned highwayman. This is Brent here, and I'll be using my teacher voice to play Ilse Muller, who's a young, revered mother, a young, uh, very devoutly Christian girl. And uh, I think I'd like to start by just having a moment of prayer from all of us to um, remember the fallen. Well, last when we left off... Young Helmet had just decided to shoot his arrow at some skeletons standing on a ziggurat. They um, had previously uh, not done anything hostile, but uh, now they are alighting from their perches. And before your eyes, they begin to form a skeletal bridge, much like uh, army ants do, in order to... To get down the tears. Do you think I shouldn't have shot them? Do you think they might have been friendly? No. Until you shot them, they may have just been decorative, though. You think? Oh, sorry. Interestingly that you should say decorative, because some of them do not move, and they are, in fact, decorative, just to uh, give the illusion that there are more of them than How many are actually moving down? There are nine of them. Yikes. (laughs) And how big exactly are they? They are human-sized. And the first and the second tiers are assembling and then disassembling as they get to the bottom. There are some fiercer looking skeletal warriors on the third tier. And the fourth tier is a raven's head, this enormous adobe raven's head sculpture that turns to follow you. Young Helmet. Oh, that's alarming. You Um, think? (laughs) At the sight of these nine skeletons... Marja, you sort of um, hear a sound just over your shoulder and you see Raforster and Joan making tracks out of the canyon. Okay, so now, Kev, you're not allowed to talk for the rest of the game. (coughs) Ever again. (laughs) Ever again. (laughs) So you just sit there quietly. All right, so I'm going to need you all to to roll initiative and Rafe, you'll get to act first. Mm. How do we do it? Is it a A D10 D10. plus your initiative number? Well, Helmet... um, I, I mean, good ideas have never been your forte, but no. I, I think this one was particularly poor. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I, I should hope so. <laughs> I popped my final honey lolly into let's, my mouth. Let's hope we all live <laughs> to, to make you more sorry. 18. Oh, excellent. I'm 16. 13 for Ilse. That's 18 for Rafe. All right. Rafe, you get your bonus AP. Okay. So we've got nine... Skeletons coming towards us. Uh huh. Well, Rafe will start, and hopefully, this doesn't take any kind of action, and just say, "Um, are we going to fight these skeletons, or are we going to get out of here?" Joan and, and Raforster might have had the correct idea. Well, we don't know if they're going to chase us. Should we just make a stand, or they might just be coming to say hello? Well, they're carrying weapons and not cups of tea, so I'm going to assume that they're not friendly. Well, how about we loose a couple of arrows and see how well they go down? Oh, well, well, all right. How far away are they, Paul? They are something like 20 feet. Well, in any event, Rafe is going to shoot his flintlock pistol at a skeleton. And I'll, I'll also say that you, have, you do have uh, at least uh, a round before they're down. Or okay. a turn. I'm going to assume that I am mounted. 
uh, because that gives me a bonus to my fighting abilities when I am on a horse or on a carriage. Makes sense to me. So that is an 18, which is definitely a hit. And that is a six on the damage dice. And another six. <laughs> and a five. That is that is an auspicious beginning. Uh, so that is 17 plus five, so 22. You um you shoot it in through the skull eye socket and you can hear the, the lead shot rattling <laughs> around inside and then it just falls to the ground as though um it, with shavings of bone and different things, um part of the, the skull has been cracked and blown out. It would have been a shot that would have dropped a, a mortal man. However, this thing seems unaffected in terms of its uh capacity. What so it just keeps coming? What? Uh, well, well, um, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what, now, well, let's shoot the, the skull, the giant skull, the raven, the adobe raven head. Ooh, there's an idea. How far away is the adobe? I think it's 40 feet high or 20 feet away. So if you apply Pythagoras theorem, <laughs> then you'll be able to work out what the diagonal is. That's your job as Game Master Paul. <laughs> We're right back after this maths equation. <laughs> I could probably do that with my hunting bow. A maths equation? <laughs> no. He's got a, he's got a series, of, on series of beads oh, abacus, on the yeah. string. <laughs> Not what I meant, but I'm going to try and shoot the skull from here. The, the Sorry, the, the, the birdie head. I'm going to take a punt and try and shoot this with my bow. I'm going to use a silver arrow. At the raven's head. Yes. All right. So this thing is huge. So you can have, yeah, I'm going to make it easy. You get plus 20%. I have to get under 90. Yeah. 40, 44. That's a critical. Yeah. So it means it can't parry. And was there any particular place you were going for? Eye. All right. You shoot it in the eye. Now, the eye of this thing, I believe, is a gemstone of some sort. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a waste of an arrow. Maybe it's one of those soft gemstones. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, your arrow goes into the eye and dislodges it, and this uh, large crystal tumbles down the tears, uh, rattling and falling, and it lands on the ground. There's now a one-eyed raven... Statue looking at helmet as though it's some sort of. <laughs> what do um, I do? So I don't actually do any like proper damage, or it's uh, you. You're pretty much it's uh, shooting an arrow at masonry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> but you dislodge the gem. That's... Yeah, how far away? Is Maybe this if we gem? take the other one out, then it'll stop. The, the skeleton will stop. Maybe. Mm, maybe <laughs> worth a try. How good's your your helmet? Aim? It's actually my temple. Oh, sorry. Go for it. Uh, how far away are these skeletons? They're about 20, 25 feet away. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at the, at the rules for trampling. I mean, I don't know if it's worth... Is it worth risking Clotilda? Well, I don't know if it's worth <laughs> trying to attack these things at all. We could try and behead one, but we haven't really had a chance to yet. I still had a couple of actions left. Would I be able to drop my bow and get my with, draw my... Does that count as another one point or...? We get three points around, don't we? Yep. Yeah. So true. one for attack, one to draw a weapon. What weapon are you drawing? Uh, my barbed spear. Are you just chucking your bow on the ground behind me here? If I can eat, I can pick it up as we run. Okay. I think with trample, would you get your so if I, bonus? If I if I trample, I make a combat check, but I use ride instead of my combat skill. Mm-hmm. If successful, the foe suffers one d ten plus your mount's brawn bonus in damage. And if you're charging, you also get a D6 Fury die. Can you trample all nine skeletons in one go? <laughs> no, I think I can probably only trample one of them. <laughs> I guess it depends on what you, what a movement is. I mean, I think I'm better off attacking with a weapon than trampling as it happens. But unless trampling damage actually hurts these things. If a shot to its skull with a bullet rattled around inside its skull and didn't just smash its skull. I'm thinking maybe if I sever the head from the, the rest of the skeleton, maybe. Does this? Do they have any visible tendons or connections between <laughs> the bones? How would you like uh, know skill wise? Surely I could see if there were any tendons 
if there's anything but bone. Yeah, they're mainly the they're mainly just all bone and put together. But um, in terms of looking for a vulnerability, perhaps someone would need to make a some sort of heal check. I can do that. <laughs> or Elsie. Maybe a wharf warfare. I'm even thinking maybe you could even make a melee. If you know about melee weapons, you know where they where to hit the best. Yeah, well, I'm proficient in healing and melee, martial melee. All right. Do you want to make a check? Sure. I'm just going to make it uh, standard. That is 55. What? Really? 55? Is that a critical success? Yeah, no one. And that's for? Um, martial melee. All right. So looking at these things, you reckon if, if you hit them in the legs or the hips, particularly the hips, then that would perhaps do more damage to them because then they couldn't Walk. run about. <laughs> but the other thing is um, these things also have seem to have they're, – they're really unnatural and so that you get the sense that ranged missile weapons they are immune to. You got a melee weapon, do you? Yeah, I have. Fine. Look, I'm just going to ride up and attack one with my sword. While they're climbing down? Yeah. So I'm going to make that easy because they can't actually protect themselves too well. That's a hit. 62 is a success. Now watch me roll something not anywhere near a six here. Three. So eight. Eight points of damage? Oh, uh, hang on. What, are, what is finesse? Ah. Sorry. Finesse. Uh, okay, so I add my... Agility bonus, mm-hmm. uh, which is six, so that's nine. Okay, you uh, drop a skeleton down to lightly wounded. Uh, I'm going to draw my buckler as well as part of this move. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I need to spend an action point to have my buckler? No, and, you can okay. take that out as part of your move action. Save an action point then. All right. Okay, Helmut. Okay, well, I'm going to operate under the assumption that if we take out that other gem, something good will happen. So I'm going to take a shot at it. So that's um, easy, was it? No, the skeletons are easy to hit the gem. No, isn't the gem? It's plus 20 bonus to hit the, um, the head. Hit the head, but not but necessarily the hitting, gem. Yeah, because you're going for the eye, probably be... Are you going to go for sort of like a cold shot at the giant? Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't like my chances, to be honest. Yeah, let's make it hard. Hard? So what is that? That's um, minus... Minus 10. 10. So I've got to roll That's under my minus twenty combat. Minus twenty for hard, is it? <laughs> under my combat, is it? Or? Yep. But you got bonuses points. How many advances have you got in it? Doesn't matter because I'm imperiled. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're quite imperiled. I'm only ignoring one skill rank. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm not great with ranged anyway. So, oh, uh, I'm twenty three. I did it. All right. Nice. Your arrow sails through the air, and you know, with a. Ding! The other one rattles out and falls down. The and skeletons stop? No, the skeletons keep on coming. And now it is gazing at you with two <laughs> eye sockets. Yeah, so the gems were like pr- keeping the laser beams in. Um, I shall <laughs> yell, um, Frida, go attack. Does she go and she can go yeah, and fight one if you like? Yeah. All right, make a, make a roll. That is a six, which would be a hit. Yes, that's a hit. Damage. Yeah, so it'll be the combat bonus of plus, the plus animal D6. plus D6. Yeah. So she's got 40%, so it's four, isn't it? Is yep. that the way it works? Six. Okay, so you re-roll it? Oh, no, it's six all. Oh, six. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, she reduces one. Hooray. Good girl. Uh, one is lightly injured as she's uh, tearing at it. You didn't say it was the same one Rafe was chopping at, so I'm assuming oh, it's another one coming down. It, yeah. All right. You'll see. Um, is the ado- is the ad- Adobe... Ravenhead still moving around like it's looking at us, or is it still? Yes, it's still moving ever so slightly, watching the Slayer. I wonder if we need to like crush those gems that have fallen down or something. I don't know. I think we just need to kill the skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, Ilse will uh, wield her woodsman's axe and uh, yeah, just step forward. Has Rafe moved forward? Yes. And... Helmet has as well. I haven't moved forward. Haven't no. moved forward. Frida has. Maybe, maybe Ilse will move forward towards the skeletons. What does she want to do? She wants to chop them in the legs and hips. <laughs> she sounds a bit tentative. She's a bit scared. All right. So I'm guessing you're not going to charge in. No. Okay. You move up and you can chop at one. Okay. 
And how do I do that again? Roll under your combat skill and you can have a plus 20 to hit. So you'll have 59 plus 20, so 79. Mm -hmm. 06. That's a hit. So roll Um, a d6 and add your combat bonus. Which is 5. That makes 7. 7, you injure one. Are you attacking one that's already been attacked or a different one? Oh, sorry, I didn't mention that. I would be going for one that's already been attacked. All right. Oh, one, two, three. It's the same one that Rafe is attacking. Okay. It's the same one Rafe is attacking. hang on. I just realized something. Uh, Mounted combat, if I'm mounted and they're not, Mm -hmm. I think I roll an extra chaos dice. Nice. I think. So you rolled, I think you had 11 points of damage? Uh, Nine. It was nine. Was it? Um, Okay. So, uh, mounted combat. When you're riding an animal and driving a vehicle, refer to its movement subtype. If you strike a foe on foot with a melee weapon while riding an animal, add an additional 1d6 fury die to damage. All right, add another. So, that was a six on that dice. Roll again. So, uh, eight. So, 17 was the actual total. So, you put it down to seriously wounded. You can go for roll another d6 to see if you did a injury. And so, I rolled two dice because it's vicious. vicious. Uh, no, one and a five, so no. Okay. And with Ilse coming in, charging with the Woodsman's Axe, she um, further reduces it to grievously wounded. Does she need to roll for a grievous injury? Yes, roll a d6. She rolled a one. All right. No further, in, no injury done. Now. Um, are you attacking it with two hands, Brent, with that axe? Yes. That's plus one damage as well, but I don't think it matters. What it's that? adaptable, that's all, so it, can do, it does plus one if you wield it two-handed, but I don't think that will affect. Not unless you do 10 points of damage. Yeah. All right. Well, it's the, um, the Skellingtons go, and uh, they run away. Ooh. They no, greet us to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> they pull out that tea that was promised They all um, move to down to the, to the floor of the canyon. So there are nine of them. One is almost wrecked. And one is being savaged by a dog. Now, they're going to be able to attack this round. And let's see where they go in the initiative order. But first, it is Rafe's go. All right. Well, I guess I attack the one I'm, I have attacked. Uh, that will hit 41. Uh, eight plus six is 14. Okay. You smash it into smithereens and it crumbles to the ground. Okay. Yes. So that's one... Action point. I am then going to charge another skeleton. Okay. 18 will be a hit. Mm -hmm. Now, because I charged, I'm going to roll three fury dice. Three, one for the charge. One for the charge, one for being mounted, one for my weapon. Which is the horse? No, my sword. Ah, okay. So so I roll one normally. Yeah. I get one for being on horseback and they're not, and I get one for charging. Okay. And that was... With with the attacks, you need to declare. Just a reminder, you need to declare oh. before if you're doing multiple attacks. So um, like they still both would have hit. Yep. All right. Cool. Uh, so that's one six, one seven, ten, twelve, eighteen. Okay. Um, you might want to roll to see if you do uh, an injury. So you've reduced it one three steps. Yes, I rolled a six. Oh, seriously wounded. D one hundred seventy two. So after you charge it, all these stress fractures start splintering all through the skeleton's bones. And it looks like if it tries to dodge or roll out of the way, then it might just disintegrate on the spot. Mechanically, you cannot counterspell dodge or parry. Okay. Now I'm standing around with no action points left to defend myself. So somebody help me. Me now? Your go. All right, I'm going to, I've got my spear and shield drawn. I'm going to move up to the one that he attacked. Mm-hmm. Um, that'd be one movement and then one move, one attack. Yep. Uh, 56, so I, it is just a normal hit, so. Four uh, plus eight, so 12 damage. 12 damage to the yep. very same one. Yep. You play upon those stress fractures yep. and it falls apart like a, cool. a porcelain statue. Also, Paul, I think charging costs 2 AP and doesn't include an attack. So 
in order to have done that, I think I need to have spent a fortune point. Okay. So yep. I assumed you were just running them over with the horse oh. at the time. Oh, the- I, think, I think even trampling with the horse is still an attack action. Okay. All right. Yeah, chuck one my way. That that makes sense. Thanks for your honesty. So we've got four? Uh, well, we'll have three left yeah, now. Three, I three now. Yeah. I think it's number of players plus one. Oh, okay. Then we have four left. Sweet. Okay, helmet. Okay, I'm going to drop my bow. I'm going to draw my hunting sword in one hand and my axe in the other, and I'm going to charge into combat. And I'll attack the one Freed is having to go at. Okay. Is a charge anything for me or just... just Charge is an extra fury two. dice if you hit. Okay. It costs two action points. Okay. Is that all right if I've drawn... Yep, you can draw... Yeah. Two actions... To charge um, and then one to attack. Okay. Well, that one's a hit, whatever the case. All right. You hit it. So that's six all up and I get an extra fury dice. Is that what you Yep. Eleven. Eleven. All right. You drop it to seriously wounded. Roll a D percentage to see if you sustain a serious wound on this creature. Seven. Zero seven. Fortune's mercy. Ignore the injury. Keep your fate point and continue fighting onwards. And thus it does so. Hmm. Okay, Ilse. Okay, well, um, Ilse would like to hack at uh, another nearby skeleton. Hack it at its hips or legs or whatever. Go for it. So is there any that are nearby that are, that are injured? Yes, there's the one that uh, Frida and Helmut are attacking. Okay, I'll, uh, she'll go and see if she can give that one a good nasty chop. All right. 83, which is a miss. You have two action points left. Just um, You can still do things like uh, perilous stunts, which... Um, and remember, you can use parry or dodge if you have leftover action points when you're attacked. So I think I might hold on to, the, hold on to that in case I get attacked then. Well, the skeleton's initiative was 12, so you beat them all. And it is their go. Now I just need to work out who these things are going to attack. Each other, yes. Yes. <laughs> So the one fighting Frida, Helmet, and now Ilse goes for Helmet. It swings a club that misses. Hooray. It also tries to go for a stunning blow on Helmet. Okay, so it needs to make a athletics test, and it gets plus 10 to athletics. Athletics is a brawn ability, so that is 55. 47, make a toughness check. Please, to see if you can shrug off being stunned. If you're stunned, you means you have one less action point. I am successful, I'm sorry to say. I have a brawn of 49, I rolled a 44. Nice. Well done. You resist the clubbing. Huzzah. Rafe is attacked with a club. Do they suffer a penalty because you're on horseback? I don't think so. Okay. Get a bludge in his knee. <laughs> Miss. Good. With the, with the attack, it's going to try and... Uh, Splinter your shield. That sounds like fun. Your buckler. Combat-based skill test. All right. Let's go for the regular. All right. 41. You need to make a toughness toughness or your shield is ruined. Cool. That's one of the things I'm really good at. Nope. That is a fail. Okay. Your buckler's broken. Cool. How is that cool? That's not cool at all. That was that was irony. Oh. <laughs> all right, and then uh, the next one is going to attack Marja. Goes for a club attack, misses. It's going to try and take you down. Sure. You need to make a coordination check or be knocked over. That that is twenty four. That is a success. Yep. You resist. Next one is going to attack Ilsi. Forty five. It hits you. Okay, well, I do have a a parry available. All right. I'm not sure on my... I haven't written a number down here because I wasn't sure how to work that out for parry. It'll be your combat skill with whatever weapon you're wielding. Okay. So 59? Yep. 62, no, failed to parry. How many sixes have you rolled in a row? Oh, no. (laughs) I, I, I don't know wow. how this happened. How does that happen? Keep going. <laughs> you take 30 points of damage. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> Does that mean I go three steps along the damage threshold or what? Uh, no, four. Four. I see. Yep. One, two, three, four. So grievously I've gone wounded. from unharmed to grievously wounded. Damn. <laughs> What if I've got, do I have any talents that could help there? Um, Welcome back to Zweihander, Brent. Yeah. Okay. Um, is, yeah. It, oh, is, is that a humanoid? Yes. Humanoids reduce damage to me by FB. What's FB mean? Uh, fellowship bonus. Is Skeleton a humanoid or a... Oh, it's sun. Uh, he said undead. yes already. He said okay. yes. Okay. Yeah, it's mindless undead. No, it's not a humanoid. Okay. Uh, in, in, not in a technical term. I don't think minus three will make a lot of difference here because it was 30 something, wasn't it? Yeah. And it only had to get 23. <laughs> I have, uh, I'm long winded, which means when I suffer like damage, I reduce my damage threshold by one less step. Is that peril? Impervious mind is peril. I have that. I also have long winded, which is the same thing for damage. So I've got both of those impervious mind and, and long Yeah. So you would only go to seriously wounded then? Yeah. Oof. Now, please don't roll an injury. You are also injured, but it is uh, only a serious injury, and the club is weak anyway. You've got a busted kneecap. Until fully recuperated, any time you fail a skill roll that relies on brawn or agility, you suffer 2d10 plus 2 physical peril. Right. I might just write that down. So busted kneecap. That's the medical term. Mm Mm-hmm. And... To how? What do I suffer? 2d10 plus 2 physical peril if you make a skill test that relies on brawn or agility. Okay. Now, the other thing is when you drop a creature to Sirius, you get to roll, just as a reminder, two dice. If it's grievous, you roll three. Oh, my kneecap's busted. That's just acting. <laughs> I, I think we had the right of it originally about the running away. Well, they're going down slowly. Well, uh, slower than us. <laughs> I can't run with a busted kneecap. I'll carry you. Helmet, you're attacked. Have you got a parry? No. no. All right. Let's hope don't roll four. <laughs> four sixes. I shouldn't be that unlucky. All right. You get hit four. Nine points of damage. Okay. So that takes me down, what, one step on my damage threshold, I think? And what's your brawn bonus and your armour? Uh, well, I don't wear armour, but my brawn bonus is five. So, yes, one step. The other thing to remember is if you're injured and you're not wearing armour, then you start bleeding. What do you hit me with? Club. Is it any weapon that causes bleeding? Or? I th- yeah. So what does bleeding do? means that you need to fix that wound within your brawn bonus, otherwise you're slain. When? By how, how long have you got? What's your brawn bonus? Uh, five. Four from Ilse. Four rounds. Yeah. I'm finding so both- armor is really dangerous. Yeah, I can't. I've, I'm a slayer. We don't like armor. Oh, wait. So we, I thought you said if you don't have armor, you bleed. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Have you got armor on? Oh, yeah. I've got hide. Oh, yeah. I've yes. got have hide armor on. Yeah. So does that mean I'm not bleeding? That's right. Yep. Hooray. I never am. Slayer doesn't get anything to mitigate that? I don't think so. Not that I've noticed. I can double check that. Well, piss. Piss indeed. How do I fix it? Bandages, I think, mm. isn't it? Like a heel check. Okay, so helmet. Um, mm. Someone, you're going to need to apply, you need a rag and some honey, and it costs three action points to staunch the bleeding. Okay, but nothing actually happens until five turns from now, yep. and where I suddenly drop. Yep, from okay. blood loss. Yep, and that that's just incapacitated, isn't it, or you die? You die. You die. <laughs> yeah, you die. But you have a you have a, a fate point, right? Yeah. Is still. it our turn now? Or? Don't no, think so. There's, there's a bunch more going. skeletons. There's one more, I think. There are two more. One's going to attack Frida, mm-hmm. which is a miss. One's going to attack Clotilde, which is a miss. It's your goes. Oh, can I just ask a question? My hide armor provides damage thresh- a damage threshold modifier of one. What does that mean? That means you add it to your brawn bonus when calculating the... Sorry, you know, yeah, your brawn bonus plus the threshold modifier is what you use for your damage threshold, so you've done so that I've already. already done that, okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, you've been going before me. I think mm, we tied. Well, you went last time first. Oh, did I? Okay. Yeah, well, we've been bouncing around, sure. so it doesn't matter. Uh, well, I will attack one. Uh, 44, that's a crit. Nice. So I'll be rolling 2d6 here for being mounted. Mm-hmm. And for my weapon... 
And that's two sixes. Oh, <laughs> roll them both again. Yay. Uh, that's a third six. Oh. And another one. Yeah, that's a four you six. You can do it, Paul, so 24, they? 28, 31, 37. <laughs> okay. Um, it's overkill, though. <laughs> I think you've busted its kneecap. <laughs> yes. Regardless of what happens, it is um, absolutely fragmented. Like, take, take that. You ruined my buckler, you <laughs> bony bastard. <laughs> It was such a, a mighty blow. I'm going to give you the option of having a, another free attack at the one that's attacking Clotilde. All right. You have to roll to hit. Clear Do I take it. any penalty to this? No. Okay. 37 is a hit. Uh, does it parry or anything? No. Uh, two sixes. Two sixes. <laughs> <laughs> another six. Three sixes and a five. Uh, 21, 26, 32. You've got the... <laughs> The knack of uh, boning these creatures completely <laughs> so that they f- fall apart like a like a Lego set stomped by a toddler. Wow, Rafe, the mighty warrior. Um, okay, I'm going to. Well, hang on, I've still got oh, still got some action points. Is there something else useful I can do? It's probably none that I'm now in contact with. Is there? No. I'll just save my points. Okay. I'm going to move to assist Elsie and kill the one that's attacking her. All right. So there's that's the one that Frida, Ilse, Slayer are fighting as well. Oh, okay. Um, is there any free? Yeah, there's um, oh, there's I'll one go. attacking you. Oh, I'll take the one attacking <laughs> me then. <laughs> Thinking of others first. That's nice of you. <laughs> that's how Marja is. Yes. <laughs> that is 69. Nice. <laughs> but is that a hit? Yes. All right. Just. Six. Six, four. So 16 plus eight, so 24. You must have been taking lessons from Rafe because you destroy the one next to you. You guys are tough. <laughs> I assure you it's completely by accident. Yeah. I move move to protect Ilse. Okay. Helmut. I didn't give Frida an attack last turn, but never mind. Is that just, that's not an actual action, is it? Yeah, no, not for you, but no. she can attack. Yeah. Well, I'll go, let her go first. She can have two attacks with no penalty because we missed her last. Sure. We'll retcon it. Well, actually. No, yeah, no, totally. Do it. Yeah, that's do worry it. about it. You're dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just casually bleed to death. Right. Um, radio. Well, she's going to attack one. That is a miss. So hang on, with your two, this is two action points, is it? Or is it six action points, you're telling me? She gets two goes. Two goes. Yeah. Okay. She's first one's attack one attack. three times. Okay, so that first one's a miss. It's probably not going to get anything anyway. Second one's a miss. Third one is just a miss. Okay, <laughs> well, never mind. The monsters usually miss if I go for multiple attacks. Like <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, Good. It's not going to stop me doing it, though. Helmet is going to do multiple attacks on um, one that's nearby. All right, minus 10. Minus 10. Nope. Minus 20. <laughs> nope. So what are we at now? We're at minus... 30. Minus 30. Nope. <laughs> Okay, that's me. <laughs> You'll see. Didn't go well. You'll see we'll have a chop at the skeleton that busted her knee. Okay. 51 there. That's a hit. That's a hit. Is that a critical? Because it's... No, it's not a match. So that's a hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven, because she's using the weapon two-handed. Seven. Okay, it becomes lightly wounded. Now it is there goes. So how many skeletons are we left with? I've taken out two and Marja took out another one. Yeah, so we took out three that round, so there should be three, four left. Yeah. Cool. All right. One is going to attack Helmet. Or Bleeding Helmet. Or Bleeding and misses. Helmet. Ah, suffering you jocks. Uh, one's going to attack Marja. Sweet. Give it to me. Misses. One attacks Helmet again. 34. You don't have any parries either. No, I do not. That's uh, seven. That's um, what my base one is. So I got one, or yep. do I got none? It's got to exceed. It's got to exceed it, doesn't it? Yep. Then I shrug that off, don't I? What's your damage threshold? Seven. I think it's got to. It's got to beat it. Yeah. So it didn't. So it's Pretty nothing. sure, doesn't it? Yep. Nothing. Didn't it? Ah. Okay. And one attacks Frida, and misses. It is Rafe's go. Um. Well, I better ride up and attack one. I guess the one that's attacking Frida. Save the dog. Stuff Hayden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I don't have any bandages, so. 
Uh, that's a miss. That's a 94, so no. Any other actions? I'm going to save my points. I'm going to put two attacks against the one attacking me. All right. Minus 10. That is a one. And that is a 10. That is, uh, you yeah, know, that's... that's 10 and a zero? 10 and a zero. 10. 10. Yeah. Uh, the one is a crit. Yep. So oh. I cannot parry, but we might give you something a little extra. Okay. Five for the first one, uh, plus eight, so it's 13. Oh, plus if we've got a light shield, so it's 14. All right. So you drop it to moderately wounded Okay. With your first then... attack. You can roll a D6 to see oh, if you okay. do an injury. Dice, I get two fury dice. So... That is a six. Okay. Roll deep percentage. 99. Okay, roll again on the serious injury table. 75. This one also suffers from the same stress fractures right. that you saw before. So then the second attack does um, nine points of damage. Okay, you can roll your D6s again because you've dropped it to seriously wounded. Okay, that was not a six. Okay, all right, it is seriously wounded. Uh, any other? So you've I'm got one action one point. point. Okay, yeah. Frieda and Helmet. Okay, well Frieda's going to make two attacks, so it's minus ten for the first attack, then minus twenty for the second. Yeah, right. Yeah, that is a miss, unfortunately. Both misses. Okay, Helmet will make two attacks Ooh. also. However, I forgot something very important last time. Well, that's a f- the first one's a hit. So roll got- your damage. Two d six. 2d6. Yeah, because you're a slayer of skill. Yeah, and, yep. So 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. Okay, you destroy it. Can I move my next attack onto another one? Yep, because there's one right next to Frida. So this is minus 20. 20. 97. However, what I forgot before is I am a bad axe. I can re-roll on martial or simple melee while dual wielding. I didn't know you were dual wielding, but uh, he, yeah, he did I'm say, holding he did a, say um, that. woodsman axe and a oh, cool. uh, s- s- hunting sword and axe. Yeah. No, just miss, unfortunately. Mm. Never mind. You'll see. Okay. Um, is there a skeleton still attacking me? Marja has interposed herself between you and it. Uh, can I patch myself up with a bandage, or is that going to be dangerous to do in combat? So you can maneuver out of the engagement, and then you have one action point left. So one and one action is all you need to apply a bandage, or was it three? I think was it? <laughs> three to bandage yourself, mm. though you're not bleeding. Yeah. What about casting your healing spell? I only have one healing spell. Mm. I assume I can cast it on myself. I could do that. Can I do that without any, without having to withdraw from combat? To cast a spell? Yeah. yeah, you can do that without withdrawing. Um, the other thing is when you take a injury, you also take corruption. Oh. So you received a serious injury, so you take six corruption from that. Six. Okay, well, actually, I've got some things, that, I've got some traits that deal with corruption. What is that? Um, when I suffer corruption, I get to roll to avoid it. Uh, if you suffer four to six corruption, make a standard resolve test. If successful, you suffer no corruption. So resolve is just a willpower test. I've got a 63% on that. Okay, I'll give that a go. Yes, I, f- I make my resolve test, so I suffer no corruption. Um, so how does... I've forgotten how to cast spells. I think I need to... To make an incantation, make an incantation roll. roll, which is a willpower thing. Can the magic heal the busted knee? No. No, my, well, not that my spell anyway. only like raises whoever it's cast on up one point on the damage and peril thresholds. I think that's what it does. Mm. Um, so I'll try to do my incantation roll. Got 12, so that spell worked okay. So I'll shift myself up one spot on both those tracks. Great. Okay, so you cast your spell. That's uh, petty magic, is it? Yes. Can I still do an attack and have a parry or not? I don't think you can attack. I think it's cast a spell or attack because a casting yep. a spell takes 10 seconds. Yep. Okay. Yeah, cast magic is an attack action. That'll do for me now then. All right. Skellington's turn. One attacks Marja. Hits. I parry. Attempt to parry. 10, 14. You are successful. Yeah. Helmet, you're attacked. 
Hooray, I've got a parry. I think. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I made two attacks. I pass. Okay, you parry, and Frida is attacked. Frida parries. Yeah, Frida can parry. Can't she? Frida can dodge. But it's she is dodge. a miss. Um, there's only three left? Yeah, three so, left. See, we're doing fine. Can Rafe. someone get me a bandage? I'm feeling kind of woozy. Oh, yes, I'll put another mark against you bleeding to death. <laughs> All right, I'll get up on one of these skeletons that's left. It's more like it, 68. That should do it. Yep, just. Uh, 10. 10. Are you attacking the one that's fighting Frida or Helmet? Frida. Okay. <laughs> Roll a D6 for moderately wounded. Nope. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm going to save my points. Marja. I'm going to smack the one in front of me. How injured is it looking? It is seriously wounded. Okay, so I'm going to attack it once, and there's another one nearby isn't it? attacking Helmet and... Frida. Frida. I'm going to attack the one attacking Helmet as well. So one attacking the one in front of me. 33. That's a hit. It's a crit. It's a crit. That is 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. Right, it is slain. And that is 23. That's a hit. That is 12 points of damage. I'm going to give you an extra fury dice for the momentum through cleaving the other one with your critical. Plus five, so that is 17. All right, roll your d6s. It's seriously wounded. That is a six. Okay, roll percent off. 45. It suffers um, a mild concussion. What does that look like on a skeleton? Good, good to, you know... Concuss the skeleton, it's you know. Skeleton brain. Yeah, it, its brain might swell. Yeah, it's got a headache. Mm. <laughs> Better not go to sleep. How does that work? <laughs> it's just got a cracked skull. It says here, until fully recuperated, you remain incapacitated. That's pretty nasty. Sort of, yeah, incapacitated means it, you can't really do anything. It's helpless. Nice. I'll I'll go with that. It's uh, discombobulated. And it sort of, it seems to um, be uh, the equivalent of a necromantic short circuit. All right. And uh, now does helmets go? Okay. So what have we got left? There's one attacking you and one attacking Frida. Yeah. And I just dealt a decent blow to the one attacking you. I'll do helmet first and attack twice. That is a hit, I believe. Yes. Uh, 11, 15. 15 damage. 15 damage. It is slain. Uh, Frida can go all out. Does he get the extra attack against the one attacking Frida? Oh, yeah. I should Because he did I? say he was attacking twice. I did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can attack. But that is a miss, but I'll bad axe it up. Uh, it's also a miss. Okay. Uh, Frida, she'll just attack once, and that's a hit. I rolled a one. I'm not sure where her... Plus her... Combat bonus. Uh, combat bonus, that's right, yeah, sorry. Um, so five. Five. All right. She knocks it down to seriously wounded. All right. And you'll see. Um, I'm about to drop here. <laughs> can I go and bandage up... Helmet. Helmet. Please. Yes. Uh, I'll go and do that. So I've got... He's currently engaged in melee. So okay. okay. How many rounds has he got left? One. <laughs> I, think. I think it's been three rounds. So two more. This is the fourth. Okay. Well, maybe we need to... Uh, helmet, do you want to disengage? <laughs> no, just just oh, kill I this. Can't now. Kill okay, the skeleton. I'll just make an attack on the skeleton. Miss. Critical miss. <laughs> Oof. You take 2d10 oh. plus 2 peril. Or does she? Okay, so what's the result? Seven. That does nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right, the skeleton, the remaining lone skeleton, is currently being pummeled by. By Rafe, Frida, Helmet, and, well, everyone, actually, because you had a go at it too, didn't you, Marja? Goes for Rafe. You got a parry? I sure have. Do I need to use it? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, critical parry. Oh, very nice. It doesn't get anywhere. Even without my buckler, I can still deal with you. Get away. It it, uh, taunts you by chattering its teeth. Your go. All right, taunted by hitting it with a sword. Uh, 44, again. All right. Same roll, critical <laughs> hit. Nice. 11. 11. You can roll a 
D6 too because you dr- drop it down to... S- no. But um, one thing you do manage to do is smash its teeth in and they all go skittering along the ground. Looming above, the armoured warrior skeletons get their, their spears and, and different weapons and just bash them into the ground, but they hold their ground. Helmet is almost bled to death. <laughs> My turn? Yes. I'm going to make two attacks against this one. The first is a miss. Sorry, what are you attacking? The skeleton. Oh, Rafe destroyed it. Oh, did he? I thought, oh, okay. Oh, all right, in that case, I'm going to bandage. Yeah, helmet, helmet drops okay, to his Okay, deduct the bandage, deduct some honey, and... Oh, no, I already had the the honey soaked bandages. Oh, have you? Yes. I might need to carry some of those, perhaps. Well, in that case, you need to make a heal success. Well, you automatically stop the bleeding if you apply a bandage. Oh, yes. Costs three AP. That's it. Now, the other thing you can do is if you want to um, bandage people up who don't have, um, aren't bleeding to death, you can help them advance up the damage track, but that does look like it require a heal check. But that's a separate it's a, a thing, like you have to use another bandage. Can I use my surgical tools on Elsie's knee? <laughs> uh, you only need surgical tools for grievous injuries. She's got a... A serious injury. I don't so. mind. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing you you can, but the main thing that you do need is, uh, I think it's a heel check and an opium pod. I mean, I, she can do it without an aesthetic. I don't mind. <laughs> right, if we've done that, I'm going to go over and get these giant quartz eye that's at the bottom of the stairs. All right. Or gem eye, whatever it was. They appear to be huge pieces of glass. Well, well that's disappointing. Ilse, it, it, um, perhaps... You may want to lay your hands on Helmet. Um, he's <laughs> not dead, obviously, but he doesn't look well. I'm a little pale. Unfortunately, uh, I can only do that once per day, and I have already done it on her- the last session we had. I already did that on Helmet. Did oh, you? did you? And on you as well, Rafe. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, I've now the, done it on me too, so the, the only one left who I haven't <laughs> used that on yet is um. Well, is what Marja. about Clotilda and Frida? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like the look of those armoured skeletons up there. Do you think they're going to come down too? I don't know. Maybe we should go away Let's now. Let's not sh- throw anything at them to find out. <laughs> at least not yet. So it turns out Helmet wasn't bleeding to death all that time. It was all in his head. Why is that? Well, because uh, he has the Die Hard perk, which not only reduces your healing time by three days, but also prevents bleeding, which is something I didn't note. I mean, you can use it to heal me if you want. I am rather hurt. Oh, can I do that, can I? Yeah, okay. You have to make a healing roll, though, I think. That's fine. Yeah. And that. once a day. Uh, I don't think I've bandaged you yet, have I? Go no. for it. One. So 21, yeah. Thanks, Marja. feel a lot better. Uh, and also, um, Ilse has the blessing in disguise trait. Whenever she suffers a debilitating injury, she can instead uh, take a... One chaos rank permanently, so can she do that, Paul? Yes, uh, the busted knee doesn't uh, turn out to be as busted as you thought. However, the threat of it has weighed heavily on your soul. One step towards the side of chaos. I don't want to take too many more because her um, chaos alignment's pretty nasty. What's that? Well, for one thing, it would be awful. She's um, She wants to dedicate herself to a life of good, so to... Turn to a life of vehemence. Is that how you pronounce it? Vehemence? <laughs> v- vehemence. V- vehemence. Yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't be much good. Okay. Well, the raven's head with its hollow eyes is still trailing helmets every move. Why is it looking at me? The skeletons above are armoured and they have proper weapons. I think we leave. What's the point of this ziggurat? Is there some like entrance way that we can get inside it? Is it like a house or something? I haven't really ever seen anything like this sort of building before. Guys, should I shoot a skeleton? No. <laughs> uh, where was the... There was something pounding on drums. Where was that within the... So you heard that coming into the chasm, and it has ceased, uh, since stopped completely. Uh, so we have been to the large tree, and did we investigate the question marks beyond the tree? Is that right? No, you didn't investigate no. that. Oh. Well, why don't we go back and find out what's there? Question marks. Let's see. Can we have a quick look for a door in, into this ziggurat first? Can we see any, any doorways or anything on the bottom level or any of the other levels? You would need to make an awareness check. Okay. Just search about. Can I make one of those? There's something here called under skullduggery window fishing. What's that mean? I don't know. 
<laughs> window fishing. But I think awareness is probably the most applicable skill. I rolled a 100. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously very shaken up. So what's my peril? 2d10 plus 2. That's an 18. Yowza. Okay, I'm down to ignore three skill ranks. Perhaps it was the, the way the, the skeletons were looming down from above. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How many steps did you drop? Three. Just for looking else. for a door. Is that anyone else making a roll? Or? Just for looking around. I don't want to freaking look for a door if that's going to happen to me. <laughs> I'll have a look around. Survive the battle only to die <laughs> looking, looking for, a for a door. So badly stunned by <laughs> the search for the door. I just make it. Phew. I was, I was <laughs> on the edge of my seat there. <laughs> uh, I think it's only because he rolled 100, isn't it? Yeah, well, but- no, it's because it was a critical fail. Oh. I mean, that's going just from my, you know, great glory in that combat to just ridiculousness, looking for a door. (laughs) (laughs) Skeletons, no problem. No damage, took out like four of them. Yeah. Doors, (laughs) fuck. I regret (laughs) suggesting we look for a door. I think you should should find a door. I I don't know, did you find a door? Sorry, it's it's sort of like a... Like a demoralisation kind of role, isn't it? <laughs> like you think, right, we got this far and now we've got to look for this door and the road goes Go. ever on and on. Like, I don't know. Should you really be looking? Uh, I suppose, I guess if it's not an obvious door, you might have to roll. But like, you know, when I rocked up to the shed tonight, it's not door, like yeah. I, you know. Well, if your awareness was door. low enough, you wouldn't have been able to find your way in. Mm. Yes, but if there were 2D6 um, skeletons standing on the roof of the shed... It might have been a different story. Is the door there or not? So, you steal your nerves and scout around the base of the ziggurat, Marja. Mm-hmm. You keep your nerve just, and you cannot see any doors. No doors, let's go. 